It's been a while. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I would run through with you guys today, uh, Jamila. This, uh, this move, I guess it's a bit harder than it looks, and I find that a lot of people, or a lot of my students, really struggle with this move. Um, so I'm hopefully going to give you a few tips uh, to help assist you in getting it. Uh, so the first thing that I want to start off with is with our uh, Jamila, we want to get our inside leg as far away from our bottom hand as possible. Yeah, so I don't want to place my inside leg really close to this hand. If I go to go into that position and lean back, like, I don't know if you can see, but the position of my wrist, not good. You're, you're going to hurt yourself. Do you ever find when you do the Jamila and you let go of your hand and you get that shooting pain up your arm? That's most likely because this wrist is being put at, a, at, a, at quite a bad angle. So basically what we want is we want our hand to be melting into the pole. When I start by, I start standing by my pole, hand on, I'm actually going to crunch in my side to get my hand lower. I'm pointing one index finger down the pole and my top hand's gonna to be head height. We do not wanna do this with a straight arm, okay? If we do this with a straight arm, we've got nowhere to lean back to. So top arm is bent and I'm, my elbow's out to the side and I'm pulling with this hand. So from here, the next step is I'm going to step forward on my outside foot. And like I said before, we want to get our inside leg as far from our bottom hand as possible. So I want to try and jump my leg up here somewhere or as far away from this bottom hand as I possibly can. Now the placement of the pole on your leg should basically be right in the crease of your hip. So poles will be resting in here. So if you've got pole shorts that are longer, pull them up a little bit so you've got some skin because you need this part of your body to be sticking to the pole so that you don't slide and end up with your leg near your bottom hand. So top arm bent, bottom hand down, I'm leaning off to the side slightly, I'm gonna step forward outside foot and jump my inside leg up, nice and high, well away from that bottom hand. Nice big straddle. My other leg is resting on my arm and I'm pulling this foot into the, heart, into the pole as hard as I can. So we need to keep the pressure of this leg pushing into the pole so that we don't slide. We need to have our top arm bent at the beginning so that once we get up, we can lean back. The further back we lean, it's going to be easier to stay up in your Jamila. So once again, bottom hand low, top hand head high, elbow bent, elbow out to the side face this way so you can see that angle. I step forward on my outside leg. I'm going to bend my elbow. I'm going to jump up and get my inside leg nice and high on the pole. And I'm pulling it in nice and tight. If for whatever reason my legs are sliding, I allow my hands to slide too so that I don't end up with my leg too close to my hand. A great way to practice this to begin with is by getting those hands in position, dropping the chest down nice and low. We're going to lift this leg up and place it on the pole nice and high. So I'm going to lift up really high, place my side into the pole. I'm going to pull with my top arm, push this leg into the pole and turn my hips to face the pole. Once I'm up, I'm going to allow my bottom hand to slide down a little bit. Here, and then strap. I hope this helps and you get something out of it. Um, the main thing though is bottom leg away from that top hand. Yeah, bottom hand, bottom hand, not the top hand, my bad. <laughs>